It's your girl T here back with another Sunday vidya. I know you guys are having a beautiful blessed day because you're tea timers. It's just what we do. Our affirmation of the day is I'm the only one who can control my reality. I am the only one who can control my reality. We're tea timers, so we control the narrative in our reality. I wanted to discuss with you some things about challenges in your 3D reality. Now, what I mean by challenges is when you're bopping along and you're doing, you're working on your self-concept, you're focused, and something comes up and it challenges you in your 3D reality. Trust and believe we all have dealt with this. I deal with it every single day. There's a challenge that comes up. Yes, it's a perceived challenge because we create our own reality. So we've created a narrative or a story that is making us feel in a particular way because we're reacting to the story we've created. But nonetheless, it still feels real and it still can hurt or make us angry or, you know, evoke emotions within us that are gross. Ew, yucky. I just had a situation today where I felt unfairly treated and I had to go inside myself and be like, you're not unfairly treated you're treated like a queen you're chosen you're loved you're prioritized everybody treats you with love this is the part of the work that can be deemed as challenging it is correcting the thoughts that come which are based on a belief system that most likely was created from when you are unconsciously manifesting when we don't know we create our own reality we create stories based on limited beliefs limited in the sense that we don't know we can create our own reality and we have the power in terms of seeing what pops up in our 3d we think life happens to us and we're a victim of whatever it throws at us that it's a chance happen state and it just happens certain people get certain treatment and other people's get other treatment and then when you start breaking it down and you actually look at the people that are getting what they want and if you talk to them their mentality is that they get what they want and their mentality is that of a respected uh, position where they believe that everyone treats them in a certain way and they get things a certain way and that is the mentality that they go for which is just a different set of beliefs than the ones you may be uh, subscribing to everything is malleable and everything is changeable so I wanted to just remind you guys that when the 3d brings up challenges for you and it seems like they're real they are I mean they're real you can physically see them hear them you feel like you're invested in it but it is again an old story that we were subscribing to and it is a good indication of what it is that we need to be working on i believe that you only need to do 20 percent of the money sp what have you and 80 percent should be focused on self-concept because we are the foundation and the core of our reality everything filters through us so those challenges that we see in our 3d reality are coming and filtering through us because we are the base of the house the house is built on us so if as a foundation we're rocky the house is going to be rocky as well but when our foundation gets stronger and stronger the house is going to get stronger and stronger as well if you are struggling with what it is that's challenging you that these situations that are coming up are challenging you with you should take note of them if you have five minutes just make a note every time in your 3d that you get upset or you feel a gut reaction to something or something triggers you or you feel like something's unfair or or you feel like you're unloved or someone's not showing up the way that you wish that they would and catch a trend in those feelings most of our feelings in the 3d reality are coming from like five core beliefs of not being worthy not being loved not being not feeling chosen there's five core five or six main beliefs you can look it up on youtube but they all are the base of where these challenges stem from they're generally tied back to those five or six beliefs because there's only so many categories in life that we can strive for health wealth abundance um family like our relationships our body our you know what i'm saying like i think there's like seven or eight of them different categories for what we're thriving for or what we're we're striving for therefore out of those eight categories the beliefs are usually tied back like i said to those five core beliefs of not being worthy chosen loved etc so if you can 
maybe take note of a couple of those experiences you're going through in the 3D that are causing you perceived grief, then it's easy to write on a piece of paper, oh, let's say you go to work and your coworkers treat you in an ill way according to you. Your SP shows up in an ill way according to you and your family is showing up in an ill way that's making you feel unprioritized or unchosen. If you write down family shows up foul, SP shows up foul, employee or workers show up foul, you can trace it to the fact that they're all treating you in a way that makes you feel unchosen or not valued and that would be a belief of I am valued I am enough I always get treated like a queen or a king I am loved by everyone around me this is a consistent work in progress we're all works in progress because no one walking around on the earth is perfect so we all have areas that can use some work we're just controlling the narrative behind things that we typically would do from a lack narrative and now we're making an empowered narrative where it gives us life where the narrative serves us where it give it takes us back to our original self from birth where we're whole healthy and complete just the way we are without anything outside of us needing to validate us to feel that way if y'all have questions you know what to do i love y'all but not as much as you should be loving yourselves have a beautiful blessed sunday bye